Alrighty guys, just got a package in the mail. Um, it's this this is a package I ordered for myself for Christmas, and uh, I'll open it up on camera. Um, just want to, um, the tiny house today, working on the roof, me and my dad, and um. Uh, we put that um, material up that I showed in a previous video. Uh, brushed it on, on went went on really nice, super reflective. We only used about a quarter of that bucket, which means I could do three or four more coats if wanted to. Um, what it did was it illuminated the surface so we could see even the tiniest holes. So we went out, got another... Um, jar of tar and then we're letting this coat air dry overnight uh, 24 hours um, the sun's out the wind it's it's windy up there so I'm sure the airflow will help uh, dry it quickly we found the leak uh, at the front of the trailer where it was dripping on my accountant's um, paperwork stack uh, you saw it in the plastic there. It was captured in by the plastic sheet. Thank, thankfully, I found the hole. So by illuminating it with that stuff, we found a few more other holes. And um, I checked the buckets before and after we went up. The one at the front, uh, where the where the accountant is, uh, accountant stuff is, it had some more drips in there. So when he walked up there, when we were up there. Yeah, water was moving. It went into the bucket. No problem. Um, we walked at the far end where the aqua cube is, the other side of the trailer. And we... Um, sorry, I just had to take a little drink there. Um, we did not see any more drips in, into, the, um, into the bucket at that end. So I don't know what that means exactly. Hopefully we have... The stuff solved but then again who knows knowing my luck so okay I guess I didn't need a knife now this if I can get it out is this is my very first bug out bag it is digital camo and uh, yeah I got a good deal on this wow regular price 169 bucks holy crap I stole this I think I paid um, I got like I th I think I got this with shipping for a hundred dollars. This looks like a really nice bag. It has um, de detachable pouches here. So hopefully, let me tilt the camera up. This is a detachable pouch. Um, let's see if I can find the latch. I think it's on the bottom. Yeah, right here. So that would be, I'm guessing, perfect for a nice med kit. Put all my medical stuff in there. I have also um, detachable sides on the bag. I'm going to have to go in depth with more videos on this bag for sure. But um, let's see. Where is the strap for this? I just, forgive me guys, I gotta get used to the bag because I just got it. Oh, that's like a Velcro strap. That's kind of neat. That ain't coming off of there. The Velcro's tucked in and there's a, a smaller kit. Maybe for a canteen of water or something. And similar size on that side. I'll take that one off too. 
and that's pretty simple to get out actually just pull and then up and then there's tons of room oh yeah and they each have little pocket they got a little pocket inside hopefully you guys can see that lots of little areas for carabiners right here hanging stuff sorry I'm not giving you the finger <laughs> Um, made in China, of course. So this is uh, Extreme Pack, American-inspired design, quality hardware, engineered for the outdoors, originally stitching and design, made in China, with a nice American flag on there. Yeah, that's the original price. I paid about a hundred dollars for this. This is when I ordered uh, the solar panel as well like the uh, portable solar um let me see what these are okay these are uh compression clips for the bag let's open this bad boy up if we can lots of straps lots of stuff i can hang on here guys this will be awesome okay Oh wow, and it's even got a nice mesh compartment in there. Oh. Really nice thick material. See how thick that is, guys? Here's the other side. That's insane. Okay, let's get into the large compartment. That's kind of like the medium. Uh, I gotta go and over this bag pretty good. We'll have to do some more videos with this. Okay. Massive. Massive compartment. And it's got this really thick... This is a really thick insert to separate stuff. This is like unbelievable. Huge deep pocket bag. Wow. Okay, so I'm pretty impressed so far. That's the Extreme Pack. That's from eBay, actually. I got some paperwork here. It's probably just a receipt. Yeah. Yep. That's what that is. Pretty impressed with that so far, guys. So, um, I'll go over it more. I Now I have to get um, all this stuff into this pack but I will be eliminating a lot of stuff out of here the Crisco about most of the candles will be eliminated um, just get the bare essentials for my bug first bug out bag emergency preparedness whatever you gotta have it it looks like it has really nice comfy comfortable straps too look at that unbelievable and a nice comfy backing thick and it's breathable, I think, that type of material there. If you're sweating, hauling this around. So, and I think it has, yeah, it's got adjustable uh, waistband and all that good stuff. So, tons of straps for carabiners. That's what you were looking for, guys. Because you can hang a bunch of stuff on the outside of the bag that stuff ain't going to fit inside. So, looking pretty awesome. I'll flip it back over. You guys get the front end. Here's the two two uh two sides and then this and then the, the back bag which comes with its own little strap by itself which could almost be turned into an edc bag everyday carry but that would be a perfect med kit i'm thinking that's where all my medical stuff will go maybe a canteen in here fire starting in here and then the rest of my gear in the other compartments Now, um, depending on how long this video is going, we're at nine minutes. This video, I will have to shoot another video. But um, uh, that's it for now, guys. I'll be back shortly with another video.